knuckle of E, unveiling the malevolent sea monster of Scottish folklore. Origin and folklore. The knuckle of E, a creature of nightmare-inducing proportions, finds its roots in Scottish folklore, particularly within the Orkney Islands. Described as a malevolent sea monster, the knuckle of E is considered one of the most feared supernatural beings in the region. Its origin can be traced back to a time when the residents of the Orkney Islands heavily relied on the sea for their livelihood. According to local legends, the knuckle of E is said to be the embodiment of all that is unholy in the sea. It is a grotesque combination of both human and equine features, with a humanoid torso attached to a horse's body. This creature is not merely a fantastical creation, but rather a symbol of the harsh realities faced by seafaring communities, including the threats posed by the treacherous waters surrounding the islands. Physical Appearance The physical depiction of the knuckle of E is enough to send shivers down one's spine. With a horse's body dominating its form, the creature has a human torso emerging from the equine back. This humanoid part is emaciated, with arms that can reach the ground. Its elongated fingers end in sharp claws, ready to strike fear into anyone who encounters it. Additionally, the creature has a grotesque head with a single, fiery eye, and a mouth that extends across its face, creating a nightmarish visage. Malevolence. Unleashed. The Nukalavi is not merely a passive entity, but an active force of malevolence. It is believed to emerge from the depths of the sea during particularly stormy and tumultuous weather, ready to wreak havoc on both land and sea. The creature's breath is said to bring forth disease and pestilence, devastating crops and livestock. Its malevolence is not restricted to the physical realm. The knuckle of E is also considered a harbinger of misfortune and death, capable of cursing entire communities with its mere presence. Protection against the knuckle of E. Local folklore suggests various protective measures against the knuckle of E. Islanders were known to offer sacrifices to appease the creature, such as leaving a share of their crops or livestock by the shore. Additionally, some believe that the knuckle of E could be warded off by the smell of burning seaweed. Legacy in Modern Culture While the knuckle of E may have originated in ancient folklore, its legacy persists in modern culture. The creature has inspired various artistic interpretations, from illustrations and sculptures to literature and music. Its menacing presence continues to captivate the imagination of those interested in folklore and mythical creatures. In unraveling the layers of the knuckle of E legend, one discovers not only a terrifying sea monster, but also a reflection of the deep-seated fears and challenges faced by the people of the Orkney Islands. The creature embodies the unpredictable and perilous nature of the sea, serving as a cautionary tale passed down through generations to remind us of the fragility of our existence in the face of nature's wrath. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with chills unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.